Hey guys, Brady here with your daily tennis lesson. So we're looking this week at the topic of dead or alive. What's going on in the game of tennis? Is it alive and well, or is it dying? Uh, today we're gonna look at the chip and charge, which for those of you who don't know, is a play off the return of serve, where we take the return as a slice, and we charge into the net and try to get on top of the net after that kind of quick return. All right, guys like McEnroe, Sampras, Edberg, um, Federer, all these guys kind of that had big games around the net used this a lot back in the 80s and, and 90s, but we're not seeing it hardly at all in today's game. So I think at first glance, we would say that the chip and charge is dead in tennis. But there's a couple things about this that I think are really valuable. The first being, that a chip and charge at the club level puts a ton of pressure on the server right off the bat in the point, which to me as I walk around the club is a really, really good thing. Secondly, and I preach this a lot, is having a game plan. And when you guys can come back here on your return of serve and immediately before the serve is hit, know what's gonna be laid out for you in terms of a game plan is extremely valuable. Even when the chip in charge maybe doesn't net you the point, um, the way you guys are gonna play tennis mentally, having that plan set out for you, chip, run in, look for a volley, it's a very stress-free way for you guys to play tennis. Okay, so for me, I think that especially at the club level, the chip in charge is alive and well we just need to kind of bring it back to life a little bit. Get it going in your games, get it going in your matches. Um, I think one specific way I can tell you guys to make it really easy on you to get it going again is when you guys return on the deuce side, um, this is a play Federer uses a lot. This is not the Sabre. The Sabre is when Federer comes up literally before the ball has been struck and he kind of comes over the ball. That's a very aggressive play that Federer is using that kind of nobody else is using. Um, so I'm not going to go ahead and say use the saber. But when you guys are on the deuce side, if the serve comes down the tee and you get a backhand return on the deuce side, commit to that chip and charge going down the line. A couple things are going to happen here. One, by going down the line, you're hitting into your opponent's backhand side. That's almost always a great thing. And if it catches them off guard, because we're not using a chip and charge all the time, so we got the element of surprise, that a lot of times is going to make it an easier volley because it's not coming at you as quickly. Not to mention the fact that the path that your feet are going to take to the net when you hit down the line is straightforward. So we save on having to cut across the court and cover more distance by going down the line. So I would say this, even though you're not seeing the chip and charge all that often in the pro game, it is alive. Go out, practice it, especially in that deuce side T scenario and see if you guys can start surprising that server and getting yourselves playing well by having a game plan at the start of the point, all right? So that's all I got for you guys today. Hope that was extremely helpful. Please click like below this video. And if you have not subscribed to our channel yet, please do so, as well as check below me in the description of this video. You guys are gonna find the link to three courses that Mark and I have put together. They're free, they're great. I think you'll really like them. All right, so until next time, enjoy, and we'll see you soon.